teachers have bigger things to worry about than trying to indoctrinate uh, your children. A bill some Oklahoma lawmakers say unnecessarily makes teaching harder as past the House. It would ban teaching kids who are fifth grade or younger about sexual orientation or gender identity. A Tulsa area representative wrote the legislation known as the Don't Say Gay or Trans Bill. And as News Channel 8's Danielle Ibarra explains, there are a lot of debate and there is continues to be a lot of debate about this. Daniela. Yeah, that's right, Brenna. Lawmakers spent nearly an hour going back and forth. Those who support it, they say it's putting parents first, but those against it say it's overstepping. Some call it the don't say gay or trans bill. It's another cookie cutter bill that's spreading like wildfire across the country. House Bill 2546 would ban classroom instruction of sexual orientation or gender identity by school personnel or third parties. Its author, State Representative Terry O'Donnell, says the bill is meant to give parents power. We're trying to refocus from teachers back to parents. LGBT advocates disagree. We're again overstepping on the rights of individual families and making decisions about sexual health and sexual understanding and their children. This would definitely be an extension of House Bill 1775 that prevents discussions on race, gender, sexual orientation, as well as gender identity. Several lawmakers needed clarity. Would this inhib uh, inhibit this pastor from talking about creation, Adam and Eve, uh, that sort of thing. Have you thought about how this will affect our young men without fathers in the home? Lawmakers who voted no say the bill is harmful. Students and families are leaving because they are afraid to live in a state with legislators like this. Teachers are leaving, but nobody has explained to me or anyone else how not discussing sexual orientation or gender identity creates any type of a, a hostile environment. The bill is now moving on to the state Senate, and if it does become law, it'll go into effect on November 1st. Danielle Ibarra, News Channel 8.